During the summer months, what I really love to do is go to the garden, pick what's fresh, gather my friends at the table, and prepare a simple, delicious meal. Today, I thought it'd be fun to invite my next door neighbors, Mark and Finn, over. I went into the garden and I saw these wonderful sugar snap peas. So I made a sugar snap pea guacamole. We had uh, beets that were freshly harvested, a roast chicken, and this wonderful salad of fresh lettuce greens and a fresh raspberry vinaigrette. I think food tastes better outside than it does inside for some reason. There is something about a picnic or eating outdoors that it just tastes better. So this lunch was totally inspired by the garden. The vegetables are so deliciously flavorful. They don't need a lot of flavoring to make them taste good. They taste absolutely delicious, simply prepared. So for the sugar snap guacamole, what I first do is string the beans. Blanch them in some salted water. They get pureed with an avocado, some chopped garlic, basil. This time I used a Napoleon basil. It's the little tiny leaves, but oh my gosh, they're incredibly fragrant. Lime juice, salt, next to virgin olive oil. And I wanted just a little something special into it, so I added a little bit of cumin. This was all pureed for about two or three minutes, and I used it as a spread over crostini. We harvested some fresh beets, so these are the candy stripe beets, which I love. I peeled them, sliced them thinly, tossed them with a little olive oil, spread them out on a rimmed baking sheet with parchment paper, gave them a little salt. I roasted them at 350 for about 25 minutes, and when the edges start to get a little light brown, they're perfectly done. So I've just got some skinless chicken breasts, which I simply marinated with a combination of kosher salt, sugar, uh, chimichurri spice, and also a little cumin. Simply grilled on a hot grill. I do cross hatches, which take about two or three minutes each marking. Uh, so we're cooking the breasts about four to six minutes on each side. After it comes off the grill, I like to put a little chopped herbs on it. This is meant to be served at room temperature. It's not going to be hot. So one of my favorite things early evening is to go to the garden and to pick the salad for the evening dinner. So today I added a few raspberries, some Orient Express cucumbers, some edible flowers, and then I made a fresh raspberry vinaigrette. So the vinaigrette was made with some raspberries, a little chopped garlic, rosemary. I mashed the raspberries with the fork and blended things well. I used a combination of pure olive oil and extra virgin olive oil, sherry vinegar, and a little salt. This lunch was totally spontaneous. I went to the garden, looked at what was fresh and ripe and ready to be picked, and then created a few simple dishes. It was so much fun to share conversation and stories, delicious rosé. It was really a perfect way to spend the afternoon. All these recipes are available on our blog at macrinabakery.com.